if you want to get sober, do this. Grab four cups, put your beer in one cup, like a solo cup. In a second solo cup, take a minute to cut a small apple in half and then take one of those halves and chop it up and put it in a second solo cup. And in a third solo cup, take an orange or any piece of fruit, chop it up and put it halfway up in the third solo cup. And then in the fourth solo cup, fill it halfway up with water. Okay? And you have a four cup pod. What I'd like you to do on your third beer of the night is build this pod. Okay? It's going to take you about seven to ten minutes. And I, here's how I want you to drink it. Drink the cup with the beer in it. Just take your normal sip. It's your third drink, so you have a little bit of buzz going on. By the way, this is a sobriety technique. It's a behavior, behavior modification technique. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take a drink of the water, put it down. Just a, or excuse me, of your alcohol. Wine, double vodka, beer. Put it in there. And you can even put a cigarette in there or a vape or an M&M's if you're trying to lose weight. Right? And you take a little... Eat of it, drink of it, and you put it down. Portion control, and you wait two minutes. Then you go to the apple wedges, put the cup to your mouth. Grab an apple wedge, put it down, two minutes, orange wedges. Two minutes later, back to your beer. So you're putting eight minutes between each sip. That's important, because we're going to slow down how quickly you drink. And the biggest importance is that you took a seven, eight minute break building the pot after your second drink. You didn't go right to your third drink and chug it. So you're actually reducing your instant gratification and you're slowing down and you get a drink at the same time and you're getting nutrients and hydration what a plan focus on it i promise you it works i got hundreds of these techniques i'll share some of them on tiktok my clients get a lot of them i look forward to working with y'all